I don't know. Then in the second video, where the brothers speak out about not receiving king treatment until they left the country, it's like, do you know how crazy that sounds? That you want something that you don't even provide to the women in your own community? When do black women at large ever get any queen treatment? And any time a black man does treat a black woman with any type of kindness, decency, or queen treatment, he gets called a simp. Russell Wilson is a perfect example. YouTube is your boy, the Passport Bro Wingman, coming at you again with another YouTube video. And the title of this video is called King Treatment Passport Bros is What You Don't Deserve. We're old, our queen treatment says a female hater. So the clip you just saw was a woman on TikTok that I saw that was supposedly exposing a passport bro. She had a lot of negative things to say. Now, I didn't play the whole video just because I got tired of hearing her rambling and I didn't want to torture you to watching a whole five minutes of her spill a whole bunch of garbage about the passport bro. So I'm going to like sum up in general what she was talking about, the bunker talking points. And then, you know, give my, and then give my response to the whole situation. So what she what she does is she reviews a, a couple of a um, couple guys off YouTube, uh, mediocre tutorials. And um, and also she was watching 90 Day Fiance in which there's a black dude on there named Caesar. And basically what happens is Caesar goes out to like a singles meeting in Ukraine. I believe it's like in Ukraine. And so anywhere where he's there, he's at he's at a table with a bunch of uh, women there. And uh, they're just asking them questions about where it comes from, why, you know, things like um, why did he decide to come out to Ukraine and date a woman there? Why didn't he date a woman back home? And Caesar is giving like very, um, put it this way, uh, answers that aren't very smooth, saying stuff like, oh, no woman want to be back home and, you know, all these kind of things like that. Keep in mind that he's on TV and he's probably a little um, anxious and nervous and that kind of thing. So. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is um, there was a guy, I guess, um, that Mediocre Tutorials was reviewing when I was saying that when he goes overseas, the women are giving him, um, you know, he feels like he's getting king treatment and that kind of thing. So then she goes in a ramble about king treatment and then she ties it back to Caesar and she says, does Caesar look like he's getting um, king treatment for the women? All you guys are saying the women are so submissive. Why is he not getting... Um, a, why are the women not being as submissive with him and that kind of thing? So let me let me address all this and kind of put this put this away. So few things. Um, all the passport bros, including myself, we never said that 100 percent of the women overseas are submissive and feminine. We, we acknowledge that there are bad women everywhere. You will find bad women everywhere. And we also have never said that when you go overseas, that there is not going to that. We never said 100% of the women are going to say yes to you. We never said that. We never said 100% of the women are ever going to be attracted to you. And most men, including myself, there have been times where we've been rejected in the States and even outside of the States. All women do not say yes. But here's the difference. In the States, your your uh, win rate, your percentage of picking a, a, a woman up or doing real, well with a woman is very, very low. It's very, very low. For example, when they did the Tinder study... They found out that only about 10% of the men were, were getting any, um, I believe they were they, they were actually getting a lot of like responses and, and, and that kind of thing. And also they, they found out that the women said only about 3% of the men were attractive versus the men said, you know, at least about half of the women that they, that they swiped were somewhat attractive, which shows you that men more often than women are willing to even lower our standards to get dates, but the women aren't. That being said, versus you can ask any man at, in general that has gone to like the DR or Colombia or the Philippines and they use ten or there, you're going to see a huge difference. You're going to see a huge difference than you would in the States. That being said, you may have a low uh, percentage rate of being successful with women in the States, but as soon as you go overseas, that rate goes up. But notice I said the rate goes up. So let's say like in the States, maybe, I don't know, two out of 10 women, you approach them they give you your number or that kind of thing versus you go overseas. I would say at least, you know, probably like seven out of 10. Now notice I said seven out of 10. I didn't say 10 out of 10. Like this woman thinks she thinks just because that we're in this delusional world where we just think all the women say yes. 
All the women do not say yes, but what we're saying is that the percentage is higher, and and your from a probability stand, standard, you're it's in your favor. It's in your favor. Like like um, one master teacher said, literally in the Philippines, it's almost Im almost impossible not to be successful there. Almost impossible, because uh, there's so much of a variety there. So many women, and the women there are just so friendly and approachable. Like I said, it's, it's almost um impossible not to be successful and again we're not saying 100 percent of the women are going to say yes but a whole lot will and the thing is men have been so starved in the states and in the uk and canada and have you know um you know had women turned them down so many times you know rejected them and sometimes the women are just rejecting them you know um sometimes the guy has everything the woman wants and she'll still turn the guy down just for her own kicks and just to get um just to boost up her ego so after men get beat down so much in these countries when they go overseas or when they go to south america it's such a it's such a breath of fresh air to deal with women that are cooperative and that are feminine and are open to talking to them and not trying to do a all of the cart with the men as i keep saying before most men know in the states the women have such a um you know they tend to exploit a lot of the men. They tend to, uh, you know, they'll use one man, like like when they're in school, one man to carry their books. You know, they might have one guy to buy them, you know, buy them lunch. It's another guy they have blowing their back out. Another guy helping them with their homework. That kind of thing. And they have no, and a lot of them have no conscience about that. They just think, you know, um, you know, and, and like I said, they, you know, they try to play it all as if they don't know that they're leading the men on. They know that these men are attracted to them, but they're still taking advantage of these men. So when men finally get overseas and they see that the women reciprocate reciprocate affection, and then and then and they're not just there to just take advantage of men, but they but they truly have a culture there where they're big on relationships, and um, and the women know what it means to be with a man of stable means. As a lot of men there, they don't really have money like that, and and in, in many cases, there's high unemployment. So when you do have, meet a man of means, uh, his value is very high. And um, and on top of that, they just a lot of the women, they really like foreign men. So I just wanted to say that. So here's so the, so the guy's name is Caesar. He's on 90 Day Fiance. You can check him in uh, in Google. And you can find out more about him. He pretty much was a um, he does like nails at some kind of like nail salon or something like that. So he goes over. He goes over to Ukraine. He's looking for a woman. And here's the thing: I've been to Ukraine. So so here's the thing: there, women there are very friendly and approachable. But again, all of them are not saying yes. All of them are not saying yes. It's just there's a higher probability that you'll get it there. So here's the thing: he went to. It's not like he met a whole bunch of women on, uh, on Tinder or like or you know he set up some dates before and then he went on a date. He went to a singles place. When you go to a singles place. They bring all types of women there, women who are come from like the upper class there. You know, it's all different classes of women there. Um, and also keep in mind that, you know, um, maybe some of the women may be not that attractive to like, you know, black dudes or that kind of thing. So they're dealing with him. So, so, so basically what I'm trying to say is it's a single bar where they do like speed dating. So you go around and you talk to different men. So, so the thing is, that's a little different than if he walked on the streets, he's just walking up approaching women. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is um, it's, it's pretty much a numbers game a lot of times. It's pretty much a numbers game. All the women are not going to say yes. You're going to have to approach, you know, some women and then a percentage of them are going to say yes. Keep in mind that some of the women that he was sitting with at the table, some of these women are about as tall as he was. Some of them look even a little bit taller than he was. So you don't know what their preference is. I mean, she may actually be into black dudes, but it may be that he's too short. It may be that, you know, um... You know, she doesn't like the way he dresses. It's it's a variety of different things that could have gone wrong. And again, even when you when I when I see the clip, they're not even being that disrespectful to him. They're talking to him. They're not they're not making fun of him. They just in this case, those particular women might not be attracted to him. There's nothing wrong with that. None none of the passport bros have anything wrong with women turning them down or rejecting them. Our biggest thing is that in the states, a lot of times. The women have a very nasty attitude when they're turning down men versus when you go overseas, you go to South America. The women, uh, when they do turn you down, it's generally done in a very polite way. It's done in a very polite way. So um, I'm going to say that. And here's the thing. If if Caesar continues doing what he's doing at, at the singles place, um, I, 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 I definitely think that he'll he'll eventually find somebody. He, he will eventually find somebody there. It's just that he's on a television show. The women know they have cameras there. 
they're wondering why these cameras are following him, what he's doing there. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if he if he's there long enough, he will he'll find somebody. It's it's not um like I said I've I've been there before. I, I've dated some women from Ukraine. Um, it's more of a numbers game there. And keep in mind that Ukraine is not the situation there as far as their economy is not like it is in places like the Philippines or like South America. It's very safe there. Um, and people kind of debate whether or not even um, Ukraine or Russia are even poor. They don't necessarily consider them necessarily third world countries. They're more like they're part of uh, I think it's called like we consider like a second world country, kind of like Brazil, even though Brazil is slightly poorer than like um, Russia, Brazil. But what I'm saying is Ukraine is not necessarily a third world country. So it's not. So when a lot of these men who are saying women are feminist and submissive, a lot of these men are not necessarily going to Ukraine or Eastern Europe. They're generally going to Southeast Asia or South America. And and to anybody who's traveled, I challenge you to go go deal with some of the women um, in Eastern Europe and go deal with some of the women in Southeast Asia or or even South America, you will see a difference. I mean, they're still, put away, <clears throat> they're still very, very submissive and they still a whole lot, uh, you know, pleasant to be around than, than, than women in the West. You would definitely see it. So, um, and, and keep and keep in mind that um, right across from Ukraine is like, you know, Western you know, Europe. You have a lot of competition coming from there, coming over into their country. So, so keep that in mind that it's um, very uh, the proximity of East Western Europe is like right there. So you, you got to you got to keep that in mind. Um, so let me address the second point. because I don't want to keep the video going too long. Next point she tries to um, dive into. She says, um, you know, you guys talk about uh, king treatment, but why you, you guys give, you know, but but where's the queen treatment? She was like, you, you guys talk about getting king treatment, but you never give the women any queen tri tri treatment, especially in especially in the states. You know, you want us to do all these things for you, but you don't reciprocate. And, she, and then she said, um, and then the men who do, y'all call them simps, like um, <clears throat> like Russell, um, I forgot his name, the, the the quarterback, the quarterback, pretty much, and um, you know Russell and Sierra, that whole thing. And the thing is. The reason people call him Russell is simply because he, he his his wife Sierra, you know she's dating men like uh, Future. She's doing while they're married. She's doing things like going on Instagram, you know, showing her butt, shaking her butt, um, you know, twerking, doing all that kind of stuff. Why she's married to him, you know. So it's like who's she twerking for? So that that's that's one thing. The other thing was, you know, um, the other thing is secretly like um she kind of has been flirting like i don't know it's just like the other thing is she kind of has a, a a a child as well and it's it's nothing wrong with put it away there are some guys who say don't date a single mother and i'm I, put it away I, I support men no matter what you want to do but the whole point is that him being such a high value man um he kind of has his pick of the litter so they just kind of figure out you know if you have your pick of the litter in many cases you know Put his way, uh, there's nothing wrong with dating a single mother, but the thing is, uh, why would that be his first preference? You know, most people would just think at least that's not going to be your first preference. Of course, you meet a woman, you fall in love with her. It doesn't matter if she has a kid. Like I said, I support you. I, I, I get it. But the whole point is that um, out of all the women he could have picked, it's just like, why would he pick her? And she's, she has like a record of dating all these uh, rappers and stuff like that. Like, why would he want to do that? And then uh, whenever you see them together, you know, it's kind of like... He's always just in the background. She's dressing him up to look like future. It just looks like um, it, it just looks like it's not a good fit. It's not a good fit. So that's why a lot of times people kind of give him a hard time. So um, and the thing is, she said, you know, she's she's saying, why don't you guys give them queen treatment? Uh, that's what guys have been doing since uh, since forever. I mean. But but most women don't want most women don't want those men. All she has to do is look in. All she has to do is look into her um, her comment section. It's probably gonna be a bunch of simp's in the section there, or a bunch of guys who's thirsting for her. But here's the problem: those guys are giving her queen treatment, but she doesn't want those men. And as most men would tell you, a lot of these women who are dating these Chaz and Tyrones, they have plenty of male guys orbiting them, wanting to talk to them, wanting to wife them up. Wanting to give them queen treatment, but they don't want the queen treatment. 
They would, pre they would prefer to have the bad boy or the Chad and Tyrone, a guy that kind of, for the most part, takes her for granted. And, um, and it, it makes sense because, I mean, in general, I feel like women, they don't necessarily want to be the center. They, they, they more so just want to go along with the ride with you. They want you to lead and they kind of want to come alongside it. They, they, they don't necessarily want to sit there and, and lead and, and um, tell the man what to do and, and kind of treat you like, they're, like you're their son. Now, they can say all this stuff about, oh, uh, I'm not, you know, um, you know, that they won't, for the most part, like they want a submissive, you know, some, you know, submissive nice guy, but they really don't. I mean, even, um, even like a lot of, a lot of the passport bros, when we go overseas, a lot of times the women are doing the catering to us. We're not, you know, while we do obviously give affection back, but for the most part, the women there, they're, they're very, um, you know, they're very into they're they're really into taking care of their man and providing for them and cooking for them and that kind of thing and kind of supporting the man and his his goals and um you know and 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 supporting him as he builds things for them you know for her and for and for himself so um what i'm saying is most women especially in the west they don't necessarily want a um a yes man a guy who says yes to everything they they don't necessarily they they walk all over that man and wind up cheating cheating on him with a Pookie and Ray Ray or a Chad and Tyrone. So I mean the woman is just delusional. I mean like I said men have been doing that for, since forever and it has not worked. In, in many cases I either said it's kind of like the exact opposite. It's, it's kind of like the worse you treat them in many cases, the better you know better uh, behave they seem to be in the West. So um, it's, and of course if she's talking about queen treatment of course we know that we know what that means queen treatment from chad and tyrone queen and treatment from pookie and ray ray not queen treatment from the guy who's on her instagram page saying uh saying man you look so good i want to be with you not that guy she just she's talking about chad and tyrone and pookie and ray ray and she's thinking and and for some reason she thinks that uh Pookie and Ray Ray and Chad and Tyrone are traveling. They're not traveling anywhere. They actually enjoy the way that things are in America. They're gonna stay right there and keep treating her and all the little other women the way they've been treating them. The ones that are leaving are me and the other passport bros because we're tired of being treated and told we need to settle for this type of woman and being used as safety nets and that kind of thing. No, we we, we want we wanna expand our options. And so we're leaving and, and really her and all these women, why they're making all these videos is that they're just worried that what happens when they get, you know, 35 years old, 40 years old and Chad and Tyrone have moved on and they see that they're not the Marion type. And then they look to the left and right and all of us are pretty much gone. And they're worried about living, you know, pretty much turning into a cat woman. That's what they're worried about, you know, but it's on them and like in, in, um, we had a discussion on um, Pablo, uh, Pablo Frescobar's panel. We just talked about how, what is it going to take for them to, to finally change their behavior? It would take something drastic like a recession. And if you notice lately with things going so bad in the States and in the West, you notice that some of these women are talking about the soft girl era and this kind of thing because things are starting to get bad. It's and it's, and it's going to get worse with this recession going on. Uh, but we're, you know, put this way you, you can't fool us now the password bros we we see completely through all the fakeness all the fake femininity we see that it's not genuine it's only just to have a place to sleep have a guy paying your bills as soon as that's paid then they're out the door we we see through all of that we want the real stuff we don't want the bootleg so i'm gonna end it on that you know this video's gotten pretty long but uh please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section uh please subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up Hit the notification bell. And until next time, this is your boy, the Passport Bro Wingman, signing off.